Hi guys, Mauro here. I used to train a kid that had dreams of greatness, of becoming a really good player, but he totally had the attitude of an amateur. He wanted to be a really good tennis player and he wanted, he will tell me, I want this, I want to play this tournament, I want, to, I want that, I want to, um, uh, by this time, he had everything planned in his hand, what he wanted to do, what he wanted to be, when he wanted to win the rankings, which tournaments he wanted to be ready to win and everything. And the thing is, he, he had, he had it all planned, but his attitude going into the practice and in, in, in into his self-belief was totally an amateur. He didn't want to practice, he didn't want to work hard, he didn't want to make an effort of moving his legs. I had to be pushing him for that, which is a coach's worst nightmare. The worst nightmare of any coach is to have a kid that wants everything, but doesn't want to have to put the effort. And this guy had problems, uh, psychological problems as well. He wanted and he wanted and he wanted, but he didn't have that self-belief. He felt, I will, if I if I have to if I have to summarize everything in one word in one in one sentence, he felt that he was not worthy of what he wanted. And it doesn't matter. Of course, if let's assume let's assume that he was a hard worker. Let's assume that he was one of those kids that they, that we see out there that train really hard and want and 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 they want to do well. Okay, if you want to be a good player. You, it's important to have the ambition, it's important to have the drive, it's important to go out there and work. But the truth is that if you don't feel, if you really don't feel worthy, deep inside, if you don't feel worthy, if you don't have that belief that you can do it, it's not going to happen. It's as simple as that. It's just not going to happen. Um, you just, you just kind of playing the role. See, you just, you just kind of pretending. You're trying, you're working um, you're practicing hard. You you might feel like you're earning it, but if you don't feel that you belong up there, where the best players are, you don't feel that you are capable, that you have the potential to be up there. If you don't feel that you are worthy of it, it's just not gonna happen. Because deep inside, it doesn't matter how much you practice. It doesn't matter everything you do. What what happens is that. In the end, your mind is going to make you behave in a way that the people that don't believe it, the people that don't feel they're worthy of it, behave. See, you, 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 might, go to, um, you might go out there and compete and put up a good fight against really good players. But one thing that I learned throughout my um competitive career from the juniors to professional was that putting a, putting a good fight against the good players anybody can do that closing the deal beating one of them it's a whole different story you can be one or two points to beat one guy but you he ends up beating you and many times we think that oh my god i'm so close of getting there i almost beat this guy that means that i'm that close yeah but the truth is that sometimes that one, that that little just that that little extra that we didn't get to be the good player can represent a huge huge gap in the mentality so being it's good it's good if you compete and you do well against others that are good players but don't take it for granted that that means that you're right there with them right away. You know, like okay, I'm good. I'm 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 ready to compete with these guys. You have to do it over and over and over and over. And only the consistency is what's going to, what's what's going to show you if you're really ready to be there. But it, again, if you don't feel that you're worthy of it, if you don't feel if it's in the end you're just playing the role, you're just pretending without the belief that you can do it, without without thinking in your mind that you belong up there where these guys, where the best players are or who are the best performers in anything in life, it's just not gonna happen. And, and one thing that you have to remember is that when you say I want and I want and I want, I wanna be this and I wanna be that and I wanna be 
really good at what I do. Every all the ones that we want, we're asking for it. But first, we have to put out something there. Okay, what are you doing for it? What's in order to come in? There's got to be something that's coming out first. First, what is coming out? Are you are you training hard? Are you working mentally and physically? Are you being disciplined? You have the drive. Are you practicing? Are you are you putting the effort even in those days when you don't feel well? Those those are things that are extremely important, guys. So remember, you don't feel worthy of it. You're just playing the role. That means that you really have to have a conversation with yourself. That means that you have not you have not been working mentally to convince yourself that you can do it. And and without without that belief. The training, the hard work, the discipline, you can put everything else. But there is there is the core. The core of everything is what's inside of you. It's not really how fast you move or how talented you are drawing or in anything that you want to do. The core of everything, the, the, the real source of power is what's inside of you, what you feel deep in your heart. Believing, belonging. Um, you know that you gotta feel that you're that you're worthy of it, that you can be up there with those guys. Okay, wanted wanted to tell you this story because I've seen it over and over and over, and it's uh, you can apply this to life, to sports, to everything. I just thought it was important. I hope you like it, guys. Uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.